And we are wrestling with PWI's top women, uh, top 250 women of 2023. Came out um, a couple days ago. Um, it is an interesting uh, list of names. Um, I'm not a complete list of what I've seen so far, but um, oh, maybe it is. No. No, it isn't. Okay, well, whatever. Um, have you seen the list and what are your thoughts on Felipe as a whole? I've seen the top 10. See, unlike the black one, I did see this one. Because everybody and their mama kept just telling me, mommy's number one, mommy. So I'm like, all right, who the fuck is number two? You know what I mean? I wish. So, I mean, so you got to see that. So let's get into it. Let's get into what. What, what what the list is and we can just shout discuss who should move up who should have been up who should have been down who should have been right where they are let's start with the top five we got mommy herself Rhea Ripley number two is Julia number three is Bianca Belair number four is Jamie Hayter number five is Cam McConnell um I, I love Rhea Ripley, but if we're talking about how, uh, how many matches she's had and the quality of her rivalries, then you're only talking about two in the last year. Or do you feel um, differently about that? I think she gets the benefit because at one point she was literally the Judgment Day's best character. And you could still say that she is. And right, so that's why she gets that benefit. So by her being the best character, she's more involved in the function in the functioning of that faction you know i did not look at it that way if i'm i was looking at because think of every match that they've been in that she's been involved that she had to interfere that she had to inspire you see what i'm saying right you can make the argument she's the reason they have all the belts I was looking at it more in the sense of her separated from Judgment Day. But if. You but you can't separate her from. Ju- yeah, you can't. Okay. Because she is Judgment Day. And that's the, that's the thing. It was the prom For her, it was the promise that she made a faction that people thought was dead in the water relevant. Number two was uh, Golia. Um, the girl that beat Willow Nightingale for the um, um, New Japan Strong Women's Championship. They don't necessarily. And why the hell is she two and Willow eight? But whatever. <laughs> Bianca Belair. Um, I feel like that's a fair place for her. Well, she didn't no, have to win. she should be two, two. Because if this was going from, I'm trying to think, what was their their time frame? July first. July, July to July to July, she was basically running shit. Up until yeah, she was running shit. So you can make the argument that she should be one because of the fact that she was running shit. From pillow to post. Pill her to post. Um, I mean, yeah. I mean, if we're talking about quality of match and wins, then yeah, Bianca did have those things. 
I think Boshi may be lacked with the quality of actual rivalries. You know, when it came to, it was just a metal match with Bailey. The match with us, the rivalry with Asuka wasn't as good as the match itself. You can't understand what I mean. Well, that's because people got tired of her. It was... When is she gonna... It's more so that let's hope the bitch wins. Okay, so more on the line so she cooled off. Um... Again, I think when it comes to quality, the quality of like what we were talking about, she's in a good place, in my opinion. Who? Bianca. Great. I, uh, I can make the argument too. I, I'll make the argument one too. If mommy's one, Bianca, I can make the argument she's two, and I can make the argument it. Between them two, if one was one and the other one was two, I wouldn't argue it. But putting Gia between them two, no. Hell no. What about Jimmy Vader as four? It's interesting. Had a reign, but was it memorable? She had steam behind her. She had momentum behind her. Was but now it kind of feels like it faded to the wayside because Tony is running shit. Right. I mean, she definitely suffers from the fact that um, AEW doesn't do great with the women's division. Women's division, exactly. (laughs) So that that. That that is a a fault of not not of her own. However, it's a fault nonetheless. Tom the uh Tom the Cardo, um definitely number five. All right, let's get um number six is Athena, number seven is Diana Perazzo, number eight is Willow Nightingale, number nine is Camille. It's not a name that we've heard a lot of. Um, and number 10 is Jordan Grace. Um, personally, I'm happy that Camille is actually getting the acknowledgement that she deserves because she has been killing it as the NWA Women's Champion. Um, you're never going to hear an argument from me that Diana Perazzo doesn't deserve to be on this list. <laughs> Um, and, um, Athena, um, the second best black wrestler in 2023, sixth best wrestler female overall. I think Athena, if you had to make the argument, Athena could be three. Hmm. See, that's my thing. I, I would have went one, two, three. Bel Air, Mommy, Athena, in no particular order. Um, follow your rest. Camille, it seems okay there. Um, I'm trying to think. Would I move one out of that top ten? Perazzo, I could probably put Perazzo over Hater. Oh yeah, I could. Uh, I could maybe put Grace over Hater. So yeah, I mean, but those are things we can you can just argue to death. I don't necessarily see why 
Jordan Grace is in the top 10. I feel like, you know, she... I want to say that she's had her court time in the sun, but I kind of feel like, you know, it's starting to fade for her. In my opinion, solely. And like you said, Athena, you know, she did have a good run. And if she did be, maybe, yeah, she's held a championship. Yeah, she's won matches. But what were the quality of those matches? She, as far as I know, she didn't beat Jamie Hayter. She didn't beat, beat Rick Baker. Um, Tony Storm, Ruby. So, and like I said, she's on the secondary show that nobody necessarily watches. So, I mean, considering that she got as high as she did, I honestly, it's congratulations to her. You know what I mean? I mean, you, I, yeah, I, I can see it, but I also look at, like, it just depends on what you what you matter in the criteria because unlike the 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 men's we actually have different reasons why different people should be at the top because if you're looking at defenses and 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 just winning who won more than Bianca in that year? I mean, two, but if we're only if you're going by, if you're going, and that's what I'm saying, if you're going by, it just depends on what you're going by. If you're going by wins and losses, it would be Bianca hands down because she had the best probably win-loss percentage for that year, hand bar none. If you're going by importance and relevance and prominence, I it's Rhea Ripley hands down because she basically – rose from the dead a faction that was, remember, dying because people just didn't, like, you know what I mean? Right. And she was the reason why a lot of other of those males are actually um, progressed in the faction. If you're looking at a bit of both, I can say Athena, just from the fact that even you say it may not be quality, ain't nobody there that's been bold enough to take the belt from her yet. Um, at number 11 is Oscar. Number 12, Tony Storm. Number 13, Marsha Slamovich. Congratulations to Marsha, friend of the show. Check out our interview with Marsha in the archive. Um, number 14, Jay Cargill, and number 15, Roxanne Torres. Um, I believe Tony was the champion at the start of this. I believe Tony regained the championship, and now is actually on the best one of her career, but I don't think that part of her made the quota for this list. You know what I mean? I don't think it's on the deadline. No, I didn't. Well. It didn't. So, I mean, timing is everything. Any of those names stick out to you? Um, Roxanne Perez, for someone who had a sharp run, top 15, yeesh. Um, but then again, when you look at some of the people below her, a lot of them were out for a while. Hmm. So, like, like, Charlotte didn't wrestle a lot, Rousey barely wrestled, Trinity was gone, EO just starting. Stratton hurt. You see what I'm saying? So it's, it's, yeah, so it's more like attrition. Um, 
you know, Taya in and out, Mickey in and out, Sheeta in and out, Becky, mom life, injury. Next uh, So, yeah, you continue. really can't get mad. I mean, if that's the case, then you might as well just put Billy Starks up there. <laughs> well, we're getting to her. Because she's at 56. At activity alone, she's probably a lot higher than the other ones before her. So bring us to number 16, Kairi, uh, 17, Mayu Yamashita, um, number 18, Chris Statlander, number 19, Mizuki, 20, Seiya Kamami Katani, so sure, let's go with that, uh, 21, Charlotte Blair, Charlotte at 21. Um, surprise? Not surprised? She wasn't wrestling half the year. 22, Ronda Rousey. Yep. 23, Trinity. 24, EO Sky. 25, Tiffany Stratton. Um, 26, Kyle Rockley. 27, Mickey Jane. That's impressive considering she uh, retired like 15 times this year. Um, 28, <laughs> Hikaru Shida. Um, or as I like to say, who are you, Shida? Um, 29, Becky Lynch. Um, and 30, Mayu U.S. High. Nothing to say yet? I mean, you can comment on any of the names. Uh, I mean, availability is just... I mean, a lot of those people were hurt or not around. So you can't really argue those. I mean, I could argue people to be above them. Number 31. I mean... Oh, yeah. Continue. Yeah, so, yeah, you're going to get there. So, Bailey, by... Being around could have been up there, but she was more managerial and got the belt, got hurt, so she's fucked up. A lot of those NXT women, it's crazy because some of the women in the top 50 were former NXT champions and 90% of them got hurt. Right. Um, hurt. Trent got hurt. Uh, Hartwell got hurt. Uh, Perez had a neck thing, whether it's storyline or not. Um, Becky Lynch is the current champion now. Uh, yeah, so it's 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 just a lot of the ladies were just hurt and try to come back and find their foot, which is weird because uh, there is one name that I didn't see, and I'm trying to see if I can find it. Hello. Get, maybe I'll get to it. Number 31, Susu Suzuki. 32, Nicole Matthews. 33, Kenzie Page. 34, Alex Windsor. 35, you! 36, Britt Baker. And 37, Shuri. Um, congratulations, Wakanda Forever. Um, 38, Liv Morgan. 39, Ward Vixen. 40, Utami Heishida Shichida. Yeah. 41, Bele. 42, Kuremo. Number 43, Myri. Myri? Sure, let's go with that. 44, mm-hmm. Yu- Yuka Sakazaki. Yeah, I know who she is. Um, number <laughs> 45, high end. 46, Indy Hot Rod. 47, Azum. 48, Alana Austin. 49, Jody Dread. 50, Vaney. 51, Mina Shakarika Waka Waka. 
Fifteen. Oh god. <laughs> Fifty-two. Soraya. Uh, fifty-three. Rika Hatsumi. Fifty-four. Stephanie Beckwall. Fifty-five. Rhea Isis. Fifty-six. Billy Starks. All girls. Um, listen to any of our interviews. That's today. what I said. In the. She could have made. She should have been top thirty based on that list. Oh yeah. Top twenty. He just based through the fact that most of the people were unavailable, or they got hurt, or I mean, no knock to the late. Yeah. And, and plus, she was with Tina. So. And again, you can uh, friend of the show. You can check out our two interviews with Billy in the archives. Um. No, or after this, or whatever. Uh, 57, Trissa Dora. 58, Shayna Baysmore. 59, Rachel Gonzalez. Um, 60, Raquel. Maki Ito. 61, Marte- Mercedes Martinez. Um, 62, Delmi XL. Um, 63, Giselle Shaw. 64, Blank. Giselle. 65, Cora J. 66, Blank. 67. So what the hell are they? I don't know. They got blanks in this list? I don't know. It's, uh, it's definitely not complete list here. Um, 67, Zoe Seiko. Um, friend of the soul. Congratulations, Zoe. You can check out our interview with Zoe in the archives um, after this. Um, num- the coveted 69 position. Um, pause your parent. Love you, pause your <laughs> um, 70 is blank. You know that they just didn't feel that the girls were worth these spots, that they just left them blank. Or did somebody not do a good job? Um, um, Pop in the list? I'm betting you have to be that because it, there's a name that I haven't seen on this list yet. Um, number Which 70, is weird. 71, Mika. 72. Mika. Sounds like Blakebee's friend. <laughs> Ruby Soho. Uh, 73, Saki Kamahima. 74 is blank. 75 is Zoe Starks. Um, sister to Billy Starks. 76 is Starlight Kid. 77 is Nobody. Um, 78 is My, Mayu Watanabe. 79 is Lady Frost. Number 80, our girl Becca. Uh, congratulations, Becca, for being on the list. You can check out any of of our content with Becca in the archive. 81, Shuri Anu. 82, La Hibra. Sure, let's go with that. Um, 83, Sessions Mart- Martina. 84, Rina Yamashita. 85, Kylan King. 86, Riffle. 87, Amy Sakura. Just lump all the AW girls together. Um, Mm -hmm. 88, Shaza McKenzie. I love her her, um, soda. 89, Sky Blue. Um, 90, Tillo Kelly. Um, 91, Natalia Markova. Um, Bond villains are included as well. Um, 92, <laughs> Lana Cross. Uh, 93, Galaze. Um, 94, Millie McKenzie. 95, Maria May. Um, I prefer G, if I'm being honest. 
So let me get this straight before we go here. You going through every woman, but you ain't go through all my black folks. I, I see you, Jane. <laughs> Just saying, sir. But we are 90, I see. 97 of Lady Shanae. 98 is Soko Nakajima. 99, Kill a Wild. Number 100, Eat It Surreal. 101, Natalia. You're a friend, um, you're not a friend, uh, you're a fan of, um, Natalia. So how do you feel about Natalia? I am. I am. I mean, she should be top 100. She should be top 100. But to me, they just, y'all all do her dirty. I swear to God, y'all just do her dirty. Y'all do that girl so dirty. 102, Selena Vega. 103, Emotion Jane. 104, Gigi Dolan. What did Gigi do for a pair of shoes? 105, Julia Hart. 106, Alexia Nicole. Shout out to Alexia. Um, congratulations. You can check out our interview with Alexia in the archives. Um, 107, JC Jane to the beat. Hey, you don't have to move your feet. 108, Lizzie Eagle. Mm-hmm. 109, Ami Sahawai. Um, 110, Debbie Kettle. 111, Anna J. 112, La Jera Crocha. So, let's go back. 113, Nala Rose. 114, Marina Tucker. 115, Dia Hall. Hale. Hall? Yeah. 116, Danny Luna. 117, Hikari Noah. 118, Saki. 119, Shotzi. 120, Maddie Remska Kwaski Walensky Latoya Jackson one twenty one Mariah De La Rosa um one twenty two Risa Soria De La Rosa uh one twenty three Livia um one twenty four Takomi Ohio one twenty five <laughs> Lisa, Lisa Hall one twenty six Rio uh one twenty seven Nakasuko Tora one twenty eight Nightshade one twenty nine Green Girl Ellie one thirty Nikita one thirty one Blair Davenport uh, 132, Miho, Momo, no, 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 133, Momo, Wantanabe. Uh, 134, Rachel Rose. 135, Demonte. 136, 136, yeah. Um, Danny B. 137, Madison Rain. 138 and 9 are blank. 140 is Mr. Kate, where she was playing. 141, Charlie Evans. 142, Piper Nivens. 143, Natsapoi. 144, Angel Hayes. Uh, 145, Gigi Ray. 146, Chihiro Hashimoto. Uh, 147, Danny Moe. 148, Alexis Frickin' Lee. Um, our upcoming interview um, is this Wednesday with Miss Alexis Lee, the Queen of Asia. Um, congratulations, Alexis. Um, yeah. 149, Kaihara James. 150, Chelsea Green. 151, Layla Gray. 152, Ella Envy. 
Sounds familiar. 153, Terran from a county. Uh, 154, Kira Hogan. Um, 55 and 56 are blank. 157 is Yuki Kamafuki. Um, 158, Kylie Alexa. 159, Alicia Edwards. 160, Kurahara Umazaki. 161, Kat Von Hees. Congratulations, Kat. Um, friend of the show. Um, um, you could check out the interview with her in the archive. Um, 162, Ashley the Boys, Boise, Idaho. 163, Nina Samuel. 164, Sandra Moon. Uh, 165, Candice LeRae. Fuck Candice LeRae. 166, Kiana James. 167, Christina Marie. 168, Delilah Doom. Um, 169, Riley Rose. Congratulations, Riley. Uh, friendly so Check out the interview with Riley in the archives. <coughs> 170, Marina Sophia. 171, Lefisto. Uh, 172, Ibuki Hashi. Um, 173, Calypso. Uh, 174, Ava Lawless. 165, Nikki Cross. Uh, 176 had a reckless. We have lawless, cross, and reckless all in the same uh, boat. Um, 177, Chiki, Chiquito Nahashi Mama. Um, 178, Channel Jordan. Uh, 179, Itsuki Atoy. 180, Holiday. 181, Solence Royal. Um, 182, Alexis Falcon. Um, 183, Savannah Evans. 184, Tiffany Navios. 185, Vicious, Vicious Vicky. 186, Allison K. Your girl, Kaliko. No comment on, uh, uh, she did find. I did find 63, Giselle Shaw, 64, Allie Catch, Asian Mark Martina, 94, Millie McKenzie, 108, Lizzie Evo, 116, Danny L And you said we were missing 155 and 160, 56. 155 is Decla. 156 is no 155 is the Decla. The, 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 yeah, it's not too oh, easy, I, is it? 150, Mateo. It is easy. 163 is Nina Samuels. Well, not that hard. We're going back for us. <laughs> Although Alice K at 186 is like psh. 187, Lane Luck. Top 100, easy. In her sleep. 188, Mayuki Tosiki. Um, 189, Queen Amida. 190, Lyra Rakiria. 91 is blank. 92 is Sarah Leon. Uh, 193, Zaya Brookside. 194, Ultraviolet. 195, Miku Anoko. Uh, 196, Blank, 197, Ray Lynn, 198, Hiroko Matsushimoto, 199, Damaris Dawkins, 200 is Blank, 101, Renee Michelle, 102, Killer Sparks, 103, Terror Rising, 104, Totoro Suzuki, um, 105, Janai Kai. Congratulations, Janai. Um, friend of the show. Going to off that for that interview. 106, Genocide. 107, uh, 207, uh, Ivy Nile. 208, Jocelyn the World. Congratulations, Jocelyn. Uh, can check out our interview in the archive. Uh, 
209 Hypo Mizo, 210 Jordan Blade, 211 Yuri, 212 Mai Suragaka, 213 Blank, uh, 214 is Ram Kai Chow, <laughs> 215 Blank, 216 Debbie Makabe, um, 217 Blank, 218 uh, Unagi Sakaki, 219 blank, 220 Clara Corisas, 221 Sexy Star 2, um, 222 Maya Yuka Yuki Hihi, um, 223 Chris Stara, um, 224 Michin, maybe that's right, I don't know. Uh, 225 Suzume, um, 226 Mai Sakahari, 227 Tina San Antonio, 228 Regina Rosendahl, 229 Mia Friday, 230 Kanoi Yakayama, um, 231 uh, Heidi Highwitcher, Witchell, 232 Freya the Slayer, uh, 233 Kagoma, 234 Ziggy Hyam, 235 Amira Laura Larkins, hmm, interesting name, 239 Hedo Monroe, 237 Casey Spinelli, 238 Holly Hudson, 239 Waka Samayaki, 240 Fallon Henley, um, 241 Rebecca Scott, um, 242 JC Storm, 243 Haley J, 244 Notorious Mimi, 245 Gabby Ortiz, 246 a male, thought this was a female um, um, list, 247 Chi Kasika Waka, um, 248 Marcel Green, 249 Maya Wald, and uh, 250 Yaki. And that is the complete list of all, well, most of the 250 names on the women's 250 PWI um, list. So, yeah. Oh, um, Kalika, what were the names that you didn't hear or saw that you thought should have been on this list? Mercedes Monet. Ooh, that's interesting. I mean, she might have been one of the blanks. That was the name I was looking for. Even without your blanks, because I feel the men, E Mercedes moment. Hmm. Trying to see if I see her on this list, but doesn't seem like it is. <coughs> so yeah, funny how she was on on one list and not on the other. But the other, exactly. I digress. All right. I think that will conclude this episode. Um, I'm going to uh, pass out soon. So thank you for listening. If you like what we're doing, please like, subscribe, comment, or on the podcast box. This is, of course, sponsored by World Energy and Four Coffee. Join us this Tuesday as we interview T.Y. Jackson. This Wednesday as we interview uh, Alexis Freakin' Lee. Um, join us every Tuesday and Wednesday for new and careful interviews. Follow the show at Wrestling the E, both on Twitter, um, both on X, Instagram, and Thread. Um, for information on who we're interviewing, when we're interviewing them, links to those interviews and so much more. Follow me personally at JamesJ993. Uh, where can we find Kalika? I am Kalika, and I am. Dead ass tired. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> and you wanted me to uh, spout off another 500 names. I mean, you did all the women. Come on, bro. I mean, consistency, sir. We only cover PWI list. And that's as far as I'm going to announce everybody on the list. So you're saying Reggie Reggie's list ain't PWI even though he works for PWI? It does not say... Hold on. (laughs) There is no PWI in any of the uh, of the of Righteous Reg's um, list. Okay, sir. There is no PWI. <laughs> All right. Um, for Coleco Yachts and Screw the Dust, I'm James Shea, and this has been the last one word Entertainment. Hey folks, this is the Colossal Mike Law, and you are listening to Wrestling With Entertainment. Enjoy the show, support these guys, we appreciate it very much. We'll see you at ringside.